Alright, let's be honest. Plain text on screen? Nah. But when you do this, it suddenly demands attention. It's bold and punchy. Or check this one out. Scanning a map. Magnified detail right where you want it. And this one's my favorite. Thermal Vision. It's got that spy movie vibe. Now here's the best part. You can build all of this inside of CapCut. No After Effects, no crazy software, just CapCut. Let me show you how to do it. Let us start with enlarged text first. Here I have a background and a magnifying glass. And if you want, you can download it from the link in the description. Drop background to the timeline and extend it to 10 seconds. Go up to text. Write your own. Make it smaller, like this, and extend it to the end. Now highlight both, copy it, and drag one text under the background. Highlight upper text and background and create a compound clip. Then go to video and scale it up to 140% so we have the size that we will have when we go over with a magnifying glass. After that, go to the beginning and drag down the magnifying glass and make it a bit smaller. Click keyframe on transform at the beginning for the magnifying glass. Move 30 frame forward by holding shift and clicking right directional key on your keyboard three times. Then slide the magnifying glass to the beginning of the text and keyframe will be created. Move another 80 frames forward and move the glass to the end of the upper text. Again move 50 frames forward, move the glass to the lower part and then one more time move 70 frames and drag the glass to the end of the text. If we play it now we have this linear movement. To make this movement better or more natural, just right click on the first keyframe, go on show all presets and choose quad ease graph. Then repeat the same for all the other keyframes. Now click on the compound clip, go up to video, mask. Add a mask and choose circle mask. Make it smaller and move it to the magnifying glass. If you need to, make a size adjustment to match a glass size. When you're done, click keyframe on mask settings. Then highlight the text so we can move to the second keyframe exactly. Highlight compound clip again. Go to video and move the mask to the glass again. Repeat the same process for all other keyframes. To match the mask movement with our magnifying glass, we need to add the same movement graphs as we did for the glass. So right click on keyframe, show all presets and choose quad ease graph. And of course, we have to do that for all keyframes again. When you're done, we have this cool magnifying text animation. Let us move to our second effect, map scanning. I've already imported the world map and gonna drop it to the timeline. Now duplicate it and increase it to 140%. Then turn off this one, highlight the lower one and go up to adjustments because we will make it much darker. Slide the saturation all the way down, exposure to minus 40, highlight all the way down and also shadow. Now turn on the upper one again, highlight it, go up to video, mask, add mask and choose circle mask. Set its size to 450 and feather to 17. Drag it out of the screen 
and click keyframe on mask settings. Then go forward 40 frames. Move the mask to this position and keyframe will be created. Move playhead forward 25 frames and click keyframe on mask settings. Move again 50 frames and slide the mask to the next position. Move playhead for 20 frames and click keyframe on mask settings again. Then move 60 frames, move mask again. Another 50 frames forward, move mask and then another 60 frames forward and move mask to the last position. Now all we have to do is smoothen the movement of the mask for all keyframes. So right click, show all presets and choose quad ease graph. Repeat that for all keyframes again. And just like that we have a scanning map animation. The last one and my favorite is thermal view. I've imported two versions of the same image, one in normal view and the other with an orange glow effect on the people, just like you would see through thermal vision goggles. Now I've created those in ChatGPT and you can do it also with no problem, or you can just download it from the link in the description. Drop the normal picture to the timeline and extend it to the 10 seconds. Then drag the other picture on top of it and also extend it to the end. Go up to mask. Add mask, choose circle one and make it small all the way like this. Click keyframe on mask settings, move 5 frames forward and set the size to 450. And feather to 14. Then move your playhead forward 40 frames and move the mask to other location. Move another 40 frames forward and move the mask again. Repeat the process a couple of times. Now what we will do is we will smoothen the movement of the mask. Right click, show variable speed animation Highlight all keyframes on X position, click on graph icon and choose quad ease. Go to the beginning and copy that clip. Move playhead to the first keyframe, go to X position arrows and by holding down up arrow Move the mask to the right as long as we get the shape of the goggle view like this. Now we have to do that for every keyframe. Just try to get the same goggle shape. And when you're done, here's the end result of the thermal view effect. And if you liked the tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you in the next one.